license for a variety of monitors throughout Squadron 42 in the Persistent Universe. Now, while many screens already have a variety of states such as on and off, damaged or disconnected, when that signal was disconnected previously, they just kind of appeared no different than the off state. Sure, it's a small thing, but just like the performance gains replacing Flash, these smaller interaction states are what often add up to make a universe that behaves and feels as players expect them to. And that's called immersion. Go ahead and drink. Next up, the <laughs> All right, so this is really interesting. Um, I don't know if you guys, I don't know if you guys remember, but um, what they mentioned was in your ships, right? In your ships, there's going to be um, networks, networks within your ships in such a way that all your devices will be connected to these networks, sort of like network wires or data wires. And um, if let's say somebody damages one side of your ship and disconnects one of the data wires, you'll need to reroute power to the other side, you know, in order to get power to all the required um, components of the ship. So with these disconnects on the screens, I can see how they're intending to implement that gameplay feature even, even to the screen. So let's say you're you're in the middle of combat and somebody does damage to your hull and eventually um damages one of these uh data networks on one side of the ship and then the screens um the screens that are connected to that side of the ship will just all disconnect and then you'll have you'll need an engineer on the ship to go and reroute the power in order for the screens to come back that would be awesome i think that'd be that'd be fantastic um but um i can see where they're going with this this is i can see that they're gonna they're gonna use this in squadron 42 but i can also see them doing this in in the pu as well so this is this looks good this looks good to me let's go to where we left off right it'll be interesting to see what kind of mini game will be playable in order to do that power rerouting yeah i yeah i'm also interested to see that the, the power rerouting aspect they showed a little bit of it at one point um a few months ago they showed a little bit of it um but it was it was in its rudimentary stage but um i'm curious to see how far along they are with it um i don't like that brother that's too realistic and too much work we will have to do <laughs> it'll take away from the fun of the game i was talking about the wiring um mechanism of the ships being damaged okay so I see what you mean, but at the end of the day, right? This is what they're doing. There are some other guys. For example, you're more so of of um, the guy. Let's say you're more so like the pirate, the, the the pilot or the gunner type of guy. But there's also some guys that enjoy this type of stuff, like engineering. There's also some guys that love to farm. Like there's a lot of guys that actually want to farm in Star Citizen. To you, it's boring. To me, it's not really that interesting, but they enjoy those type of things, right? Um, for me, um, personally, I can, I can script, I can develop, right? To somebody that's boring, that's too complicated, but I like that kind of stuff. You know what I mean? So even stuff like this, I find it interesting because it gives me, you know, it's an opportunity for me to learn a skill and to have value in, in, in the verse. So if somebody's going out looking for a prop, a really, um, a good miner, you know what I mean? You'll be one of those people they'll be looking for, you know, and what they're doing is they're making it, um, they're going to make, I think you won't have to worry too much about this kind of thing with single fighter ships but multi crew ships yeah you definitely do you can't you can't really in the future you're not going to be able to run a, a, a multi crew ship by yourself unless you have um real players with you or actual npcs to man for you so if you don't want to deal with this stuff you just hire an npc to handle it for you right or you just have somebody on your ship to handle that part for you you don't have to necessarily get involved with it you know what i mean 
so i see where you're coming from but i think they're catering to a certain segment um by adding these little things so i mean like in the future i think this game is going to be like the game to play because so many different kinds of people will be interested in it you know what i mean so many different kinds of people will be interested in star citizen for different reasons there's gonna be people that want to mine there's gonna be some people that literally want to stay on one planet and just live out on one planet you know what i mean to me it doesn't make sense i want to go out explore and, and do all those things but there's some people that want to just do that you know so i think when they're adding these things they're considering they're having a broad spectrum of of, of people that they're trying to cater to it's true different strokes for different folks i just don't want it to interfere with my fun game experience i think they're gonna have a balance i think they're gonna be balancing it out i think i think they're gonna be balancing that out absolutely npc and server blades will be able to handle um mundane things like that absolutely absolutely i agree for solo players exactly where your casual needs to do uh something to do exactly what's going on mark how you doing too how you doing tonight 